What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna sort of be talking about where MP is going, where main power is going, uh, and the overall what we are going to be doing. Um, so we'll take a look at the Trello, but there are a few things that are gonna go on. Um, so the framework itself, uh, the base is getting slightly redone a little bit. Um, you can see there's a couple things in SQL. Um, I was, I'm, I've just been doing some testing with this, but <clears throat> most likely we'll probably still stick with uh, Ox my SQL. Um, might have some few changes with that, but probably we'll just end up sticking with that. Um, there are a few things that have changed. Uh, so we have had some slight UI updates, which I can show, but I do want to hop into the Trello first to show you what's sort of going on. Uh, so the Trello really hasn't been looked at all that much, and the Trello basically is just a board on what's happening. So we can see base 2.0. Um, these are technically all done. So we have unique data calls uh, and role play made, right? So everything that's checked is already done and in base 2.0. Um, and base 2.0 is just a updated uh, updated Lua base. We were thinking about going to TypeScript, um, but thinking back, this is supposed to be a code-friendly type framework that I want anyone to build on and really do anything with. So the best bet is to just do in, Lo uh, in, mm. in Lua. So a lot of this has already been done. So we do have a status system. <clears throat> which right now basically is automatically in the base. So you'll have a ticking system. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the base yet that is gonna go down, but it'll probably be in the base. Um, SSN, so uh, similar to how citizens identify themselves with social security numbers um, in real life, we're also adding that into uh, main power, which you'll see. We've updated the UI um, slightly. I mean, yeah, we've updated the UI slightly, and I'll show those changes. Um, so chat 2.0, chat 2.0 is going to be basically a chat system that's completely built from scratch. It allows us to do a lot more. Uh, similar commands 2.0 will have an update with chat. Loading 2.0, I will not show you guys that yet because it's pretty interesting. But uh, so HUD, basically as soon as the base done, uh, there will be a HUD as well. So this update for the base uh, will sort of be like this. So we'll go base HUD, um, probably loading. Um, status is gonna be in the HUD, so yeah. So this will also be linked, but okay. Now to show you what I did change. So uh, right now there's just basically changes to how the whole character creation works a little bit so we'll look into html because this is all i changed so we'll look into the css first and i don't know if this is actually zoomed in enough for you guys uh, let me just zoom in a little bit more so you'll see right here we'll have a bot we have a body wrapper so we have a body wrapper and the body wrapper before with the image so this before is basically the new content and we're adding a dark overlay for it um and this dark overlay basically uh, just darkens everything up. But uh, we did change a lot in the app.js. So we have all of our basic things, but then we have a, a check band names. So this is uh, where you could also put uh, names as well. Um, basically, we do have a name check already built into base, uh, where if you try to create the name and it's in band names, but and names will most likely just be here because there is now auto fucking checking to see if your name is fine and it will automatically capitalize your first letter so it's a lot easier we also have this so this system uh so basically i'll i'll just sort of read you out of this so basically on your first name and last name so this is the input um what it does is it will get the value of that input. So it'll get the value of your first name, it'll get the value of your last name, and then it'll check if the value is greater than zero, which means the value has something typed into it. Um, if it is greater than zero, at character zero, which is the first character, um, it will uppercase that character, and then everything else will be lowercase. 
Then, so once it goes through this, so this automatically capitalizes the first letter, as you can see this, so live validation. Um, so we'll check for band names. So we go in our band names right here, and we'll do if band names dot include, and then value to lowercase. So the value would be first name, so, and it would just all lowercase it. So these can all, should be all lowercased. And then what it will do, where if it does include this, it will add a class to it called input air, which the input air class will turn it red. Else then it's all good, right? Else the class is removed. Then this is the next new thing. And this is gonna be a short video. I just wanna update you guys. There also will probably be a stream either Monday or Tuesday. We're gonna recode the whole website um, so it's going to take a little time. We're going to have a couple streams of that, uh, but it's going to help a lot of people with learning React, learning UI. Um, it's going to be really good for you, for everyone that's uh, new. Even with HTML and CSS, it's going to teach you um, basically the whole setup on how that should be done. But going into this, so we have a couple of variables uh, today, year, month, date, and max date. <clears throat> now, so what this does is today, uh, so today grabs the date of today. Shocker, right? Uh, so then year, we do year uh, equals today dot get full year. So it gets today, uh, today's whole year, and then we subtract 18. Um, so what we do here is why we're subtracting 18 is to make sure that everyone's RP character itself, your role playing is above 18. Um, and that's just to keep things a little less weird, right? Obviously, most servers have a whitelist, but you could always change this if you want it older, younger. It's up to you, right? So then we have a month. So we get today's month plus one. So we get an extra month, basically. And then uh, we will two string it to ensure two digits. So basically, uh, just the month that happens. And then we'll get the date as well. So it grabs the month, grabs the date. And this all goes into the system. So we'll have a max date of the year, month, and date. So these two will stay the date that it currently is. So 18 for an example, and I can show you guys this. So then you have a max date and then you have a allow selection from 1950, which I should change that. So it's 1950 and onward. Uh, and then everything else is basically, basically the same. Sorry, I'm fumbling my words. So I'll open with a live server just so I could sort of show you guys. So the UI, looks exactly like this. You can see a little slight update. And um, to be fair, we probably could darken it a little more. So we'll control save this and it will darken a little bit more. So you'll see we have little hover effects for everything here. And obviously it's not gonna create a character, but it's gonna go through all the steps. So this system, we're opted in for a more dark system. And you can see if I type, this is just lowercase. If I just spam, it'll lowercase it. Now. For those banned words, if I type admin, you can see it turns red, right? And if I do test, it will turn red because that's not allowed. Um, and then you can see right here, so we have the 18th. So 2006 is the max, uh, the max year, and you can go onward, but it won't let you go uh, forward. And it will let you go all the way to 1950 if you would like to. Uh, and then you could select your sex, which is male or female, um, and then create or cancel. But that is the update. This is obviously going to change uh, with base 2.0. I just wanted to get something out for you guys uh, to make it look a little better. Um, but other than that, uh, where we're headed, I do want to briefly talk about where we are heading as a team. Um, obviously, main power is still looking at... Um, expanding their dev team the dev team right now uh first off this website's gonna completely change um the dev team right now is it's just me and jacks basically and uh i mean basically everyone has the freedom to sort of whoops sort of do their own thing right um uh, so this hasn't really been updated that much um all this is going to change though but the dev team has can basically do anything they really want. Um, there's no really restrictions to what is going to happen. Um, I do, ha I'm the only person that really handles the base and a few other things, but 
uh, we all are always looking for new developers and if you need to get taught that's one thing we'll help teach you it's not a big deal but if you want to do that just select careers uh put your discord in here and then type your message and it'll send us a nice little thing other than that um if i see you in the live streams come say hi um yeah have a good one